In this video we're going to look at a fields question that is themed around the classic shuttling ball demonstration. Pause the video now and try this question. So we are asked to explain the shape of this velocity time graph for this ball as it moves between the plates. So let's start describing what's happened. So the person moves the ball and has the ball touching one of the plates. So at this stage here, what happens? So the ball becomes charged when it touches one of the plates. Now, it doesn't actually matter whether it's positive or negative. It, exactly the same thing will happen. It picks up a charge. So now it has the same charge as the plate and is repelled. So if it, if it has a positive charge, because the, this is a positively charged plate, then it will be repelled. And if, this, and if it touched this plate, because it's a negatively charged plate, it would pick up a negative charge and also be repelled. So uh, why, is, why is it going to be repelled? Well, it has a charge. It's in an electric field. So let's just for argument's sake say it's positive and negative. So there is an electric field between the two plates so that it feels a force and the force is given by force is the electric field times by the charge. What happens when it feels a force? Now it accelerates and it accelerates because it has a force and um, it obviously has a mass so it's given acceleration by this. Now at this point we're going to refer to the graph. We have a, a constantly increasing velocity which means this is a constant acceleration so what's in, what is it important to say here? There is a constant force and obviously a constant mass as well. That is pretty obvious. Uh, and we obviously know that the force is given by this equation. So now what happens? So now it touches the other side. And it becomes oppositely charged so what now happens it now reverses direction so it's now got to this side it, all of its positive charge is lost and it picks up a negative charge from this plate and then the whole process reverses so it becomes oppositely charged and is repelled and again feels a force and accelerates constantly or with a constant magnitude with a constant magnitude but in the opposite direction so it, I have written a huge amount here and it is admittedly only four marks uh, but I, I always like to be extra careful, especially in a situation like this, where, you know, really there is a quite a lot going on. I think, realistically, that the key points are one, two, three, and four. Okay, um, but there's, there's no, hurt, hurt, no harm in writing this last little bit. 